Hello, Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's what we're exploring. And I want us just to think about um, Jesus and what we know about how he came into being. And his mother Mary, uh, this was a virgin birth, and um, it says that the Holy Spirit overshadowed her. So somehow there was um, a divine seed placed in Mary so that God might become man. And that is um, exciting stuff. And the Bible actually suggests something very similar happens when somebody becomes a Christian. And I want to bring your attention to 1 John 3 verse 9. And it says this, No one who is born of God will continue to sin. That's remarkable in itself. And it says, Because... God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. And uh, so that verse is saying that God's seed is in a Christian. And the word that is translated seed there is the Greek word sperma, from which we get the word sperm, obviously. And so... This is saying that when Christ comes into comes to live in us, when we um, become a Christian, that God places his seed, uh, his sperm in us. And so that's sometimes described as a new birth, a birth from above. And it's actually a birth of the order that God is placing his seed in us. So when we're born again, we are born with that divine characteristic now placed in us. That's exciting, isn't it? And it's saying that in some sense, we, we now carry God's DNA, that he's in a sense in our new birth conceived us and brought us to life. Well, that is worth thinking very deeply about in itself. Um, that, that somehow something has been placed in us which makes us of a different order. And I wonder how we can learn to live out of that. Rather than thinking that, oh, I'm just an ordinary human being um, and I've got a bit of God in me. But actually, God has so transformed us as human beings as to place his imprint upon us, his DNA. And I think that if we actually um, deliberately spend more time in his presence, more time um, reading his word, more time worshipping, more time perhaps praying in tongues, worshipping in tongues, um, just cultivating the life of the Spirit in us, then we can become more like Jesus than perhaps we have ever conceived. And we can learn to live um, hand in hand with the Holy Spirit, being led by him in the way that Jesus was um, dependent upon the Father for every suggestion, every thought, every, every idea of, of what to do in kingdom terms, then we can be the same. And I think that means that um, ultimately... Um, our capacity to love is increased. Our ability to show grace is increased. Our ability to heal, to love, to look after um, the people who are on the margins, uh, to forgive, to be creative, all these things are enhanced because God has made us of a different order. That's what it means to have Christ in you, 
the hope of glory. So focus on that, pray into that, and press into that, um, hour by hour, day by day, and just see the difference that it makes. So I'm going to pray. May the mystery of what it means to have Christ in you be increasingly revealed in you and through you to others. You can think of someone who would find this video helpful. Share it with them today. Thank you.